Hello, my first graders. Today we are working on page 449. That's lesson 8.3 in our math book. So if you're not on page 449, pause, find the page, hit play when you're ready. All right. So yesterday, just a reminder of what we did the last time we worked in our math book, we were adding, right? And we showed, we talked about how we use our tens and ones to represent our numbers when we're adding really big numbers. That's how we would draw our picture, like 70 plus 20. And in this model, there's no ones, so there's no cubes for us to draw out, right? We just had a seven tens, no ones, two tens, no ones. And then we counted them all together, just like we would normally do with our adding. And we found the 70 plus 20, it was seven tens plus two tens equals nine tens, and we had no ones, okay? So that's how we got the number 90. Today, we're gonna be working on, instead of adding big numbers together or two digit numbers together, we are going to be subtracting two digit numbers, okay? So we're gonna be taking away. And we're gonna be using pictures to show our work. So I'm gonna start here. Uh, and read this to you. Uh, go ahead and just watch. You don't need to write anything. All right, so I'm gonna model this for you. Again, you don't need to write anything. Um, all right, here's our problem. Tara has 30 shells. 20 shells are big. The rest are small. How many small shells does she have? Okay, so let's look through that again. Tara has 30 seashells. So I'm gonna put my number 30 down. 20 shells are big, the rest are small. So we're thinking about some being big and some being small. So we're comparing, right? When we compare, we find the difference, right? Big versus small, red versus yellow, right? So 30, so we're gonna minus. 20, okay, so she has 30 shells all together. 20 of them are big. We wanna find out, well, how many are small? So we're breaking apart that 30 into two different groups, into small and big. So let me model that, how we would draw this out. You are not gonna be drawing out 30 little circles because we, nobody is going to count 30 circles, not to mention more than likely, you probably would make a mistake when you're drawing all of them out. It's way too many. So we're gonna use our tens and ones like we've been doing when we have two digit numbers. So here is the number 30. How many tens are in the number 30? Well, again, if you're not sure about your tens and your ones, you can put your TO chart around it if you need to, all right? So how many tens are there? Three tens. So let me put out my three tens. Okay, now minus sign means we are taking away, right? So that means I'm not getting any more. When we are minusing, right? That means we're losing some, okay? How many are we taking away? Oh, and I should, I'm sorry, I should go over too. We have three tens and we have zero ones. So that means there's no little cubes because it says it has a zero in the ones place. Now we're gonna look over here at the tens place, at, at the tens, and it says minus 20. Well, hmm, how many tens do we take away? We take away two tens. So let me find two tens, one ten, two ten. I would take them away and I'm just gonna scoot them over here, okay? So if I take those two tens away, do I take any ones away? Nope, it says zero one, so that gets to be left alone. How many are left? One ten, zero ones. So it's just the number 10. And we know that this stands for 10. So 30, 30 minus 20 equals 10, okay? So we have 10 that are small. 
So let me draw that out for you, okay? So sometimes it's easier to see with minus when we draw it out. So let me draw my picture. 30, that would be three tens, no ones. Take away 20. So remember, when I have a minus sign, I'm taking them away. Do you remember how we show taking away with minus? What do we do to our picture? We cross things off, right? So if minus 20, well, let's look at that. How many tens do we take away? We take two tens away. So one, two, I take those two away. Do I take any ones away? Nope, zero ones. So what is left? What have I not crossed off? This guy right here. And that represents 10 or one ten and zero ones. So let's try another one. Sammy has 50 shells. He gives 30 shells to his friend. How many shells does Sammy have now? So let's go back. Okay, Sammy has 50 shells, so we're gonna start with 50. If he gives some to his friend, right? He's giving them away. That's a minus problem, it's take away. How many does he give to his friends? Well, he gives 30 shells to his friend. So minus 30. How many shells does he have left? Okay, so we have 50 minus 30. So let's draw this out, right? Big number. Definitely not gonna draw 50 circles. So I need to look at this number. Well, how many tens are in the number 50? Five tens. So here's my five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens. I need to take a, oh, and I'm sorry. I need to say there's no ones, right? Zero ones. So that's all I have. And look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That represents 50, doesn't it? Yeah. Take away 30. Well, 30 is how many tens? Three tens, zero ones. So let me take away three tens. One ten, two tens, three tens. I need to take those away. Are there any ones to take away? Nope, just my tens, please. Zero ones. How many are left? Well, two tens, right? Or we can count them. 10, 20. So 20 is left. And that also 20 represents two tens, zero ones. Two tens, zero ones. Makes the number 20. Okay, so that is how I do my minus. Let me draw that out with a picture. So I started off with 50. Five tens, one, two, three, four, five. Five tens, zero ones. Then I took 30 away. So what is 30? Three tens and zero ones. So let me take my three tens away. One, two, three. No ones to take away. What does that leave me? One, two, two tens left and no ones. The number 20, 10, 20. All right, boys and girls, this is what we will be doing today. Okay, so just keep remembering, um, the, like we learned before, that take away, minus, right? When we see that minus sign, it means take away, right? And we cross off when we're, when we're taking away. All right, how can you find 80 minus 30? Well, here's our problem, 80 minus 30. Well, in the number 80, we have eight tens. So here's the eight tens that they drew. No ones, so notice there's no little cubes around, right? No ones. Minus 30. So we're gonna take three tens away. So look at that. One, two, three. They put a big X on those three. There's no ones, so we don't have to worry about that. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Five tens. And five tens and zero ones is the same as the number 50. And we can count that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 
Okay, take a look over here. We are going to be doing the same thing. Okay, and we're going to be drawing it out. It says draw to show tens. Write the difference. How many tens? So we have 60 minus 20. So look at the number 60. See, we have no ones in there, but we have six tens. So we're going to draw six tens. So go ahead. One, two. Draw your six tens out. There's no ones, so we don't have any ones. Now it says minus 20. So we're taking away two tens. So let's cross off two of our tens. Okay, and if you want, you can put a circle around the two of them, give them a big X. Okay. How many tens are left? Because look, again, we have no ones there. So let's count how many tens. One, two, three, four. There's four tens. Let's think about what does that mean? Four tens, zero ones. What's that number? 40. And we can count it like this. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, let's try another one together. Seven tens, 70 minus 30. Well, look. There's no ones in there, so we don't even have to worry about our ones place. So we have seven tens, so let's start with seven tens. Okay, there's our seven tens. No ones. Minus 30, right? Or look, three tens. So let's see, Take find three tens. So look, here's my three tens. Put a big circle around them, cross them off. How many are left? Well, how many tens do you see left? One, two, three, four. Four tens left. Okay, and we can count them by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, right? Or we can say there's four tens and zero ones. That makes the number 40. All right, my first graders, I would like you to try this. 80 minus 20. Do this one, and then we'll see how you did. You play when you're ready. All right. If you're hitting play, you did this one. If you didn't do this one, pause, work on this one first to see if you know how to do it. All right, 80 minus 20. So you should have looked at this. Eight tens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. No ones. Minus 20. That's two tens and no ones. So here I'm circling my two tens. Cross it off. How many are left? Well, let me count my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens. Oops, I didn't give myself a lot of space. Six tens are left. Well, what is six tens? Six tens and zero ones is the same as the number 60. You could have counted them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 to get your answer. All right. I'd like you to try 90 minus 40. Draw your picture, right? Think about how many are you crossing off. Hit play when you're ready. All right, you're hitting play. You did this one. You're ready to check it. All right, 90 minus 40. Well, you should have had nine tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tens. There's no ones. Minus 40. That's four tens. So one, two, three, four. an X around them. Maybe you crossed each one off one at a time, which is fine too. Okay, how many were left? Well, there's five tens left. What does that equal? Five tens, zero ones. That's the number 50. And you can count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, my first graders, I want you to try all four problems up here. You're going to do your picture 
right? Do your tens. Cross off how many you need. Your answer and tell me how many tens. You're gonna stop where you see math on the spot. Pause, hit play when you're ready to check your work. All right, my first graders, if you're hitting play, that is because you are ready to see the answers. Make sure you did the problems underneath this. Okay, so you can check your work. All right, let me move this down. So our first one was 80 minus 40. You should have made eight tens. You cross off four of them, four tens, and you had to answer 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. Four tens, zero ones are left, okay? And we have four tens. Okay, you could have crossed off each one individually or you could have did a big circle and crossed them off, okay? It's up to you, either way is right. 90 minus 70. Well, you started with nine tens. You crossed off seven tens. That gave you two tens left. And two tens is the same as the number 20. 10, 20. Okay, so remember, you can cross them off one at a time. It's up completely up to you. Or you can just circle the ones that you want to cross off and put one big X on it. Doesn't matter. Either way is right. Okay. 70 minus 50. So again, we had seven tens and no ones minus 50. So five tens we had to cross off. We crossed them off. We had two left. So two tens or 20. Now, hopefully you didn't get tricked on this one. 30 minus 30. Well, think about this. If you have 30 and then you give all 30 away, what do you have left? nothing. You gave all of it away. So here's our three tens. And then we crossed off our three tens. And that gives us no tens left. We have nothing left. All right. So hopefully you didn't get tricked on that one. So remember, just like we've talked about before, when you give everything away, you have nothing left. All right. Math on the spot. Jeff has 40 pennies. He gives some to Jill. He has 10 pennies left. How many pennies does Jeff give to Jill? Let's look through. Jeff has 40 pennies. He gives some to Jill, missing number. If he gives them, what kind of problem is that? Minus, very good. He has 10 pennies left. So let's make our problem. 40 minus some equals 10. That's what it looks like, right? 40 minus some equals 10. Well, we can turn this around, right? In a minus problem, does it matter which small number we subtract? No, it doesn't, right? We have our big number. We can take away any one of the small numbers to find the missing number. So we're going to look at it as 40 minus 10 equals something. Define the missing number. Those related facts, right? Where we can take, as long as we have that big number, right? We can make a related minus problem. So let's draw our picture. How many do we start with? Yeah, four tens. One, two, three, four. We start with four tens. How many are we taking away? 10, right? Or remember in our number 10, that's 110. So here's our 110. We take that away. How many are left? Three tens. Three tens is the same as 30. Three tens, zero ones. 30. And let me illustrate that for you pretty little quickly. So here's the 40 pennies that we started with, right? And he gives some to Jill, and then he has this 10 left. So if he has this 10 left, how many did he give away? There's our 30, right? That's just what we have. 10, 20, 30. Three tens, zero ones. All right. All right, my first graders, we're going to stop here, and you're going to practice using your personal math trainer.